everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I'm back yet again to give you guys a retro shiz look back at the past to more simpler time when heroes and villains from the Marvel Universe would join together to fight each other and use, I'm assuming, insects, bugs from outer space, and they would ride them and attack one another in a sneaky sort of way and let's call it the sneak attack bug busters right we already looked at those but did you know that there are super bug busters because yeah that was totally a thing and i never had them as a kid i totally saw these on the shelves but it just wasn't my cup of tea the venom spider rider super bug buster come on i don't need that that's ridiculous totally awesome now though i will say that a venom figure Riding a giant spider. Stuff of nightmares, right? And it was simple. As Venom's attempts to defeat Spider-Man continue to fail, the alien symbiote summons from the depths of space a new weapon. The Super Bug Buster, of course. Created by the alien symbiote, especially to squash Spider-Man. His fearsome vehicle comes equipped with devastating disc firing action and creepy creature legs. This is one villain Spider-Man won't soon forget. It's Venom. How is Spider-Man supposed to forget Venom? And of course, on the box, there was the other bug busters. Spider-Man, no different. Spider-Man had his Spider Rider. Venom Spider Rider. Spider-Man Spider Rider. Of course, nice window box packaging. I would have liked to have picked these up back in the day to be able to show the packaging off better. But for now, we'll just rely on eBay sellers. When faced with the threat of the alien menace, Venom, and his new... <laughs> Space Age Super Bug Buster, Spider-Man must build the awesome new Spider Rider. Did he build it from parts from space? How does he know how to build this? Spidey equips his vehicle with sonic stun missiles and super spider legs to climb into action and face Venom for the ultimate battle. It's like pistols at dawn, but instead, uh, I'm assuming mechanical synthetic bugs from space? You draw your own conclusions. And that was the fun of Toy Biz back in the day. So sit back, relax. Grab yourself a nice, hot, super big cup of coffee. This is a look at the 1998 Toy Biz Super Bug Busters, Spider-Man and Venom. So to kick things off, we'll delve into Venom's Spider Rider. You get a really nice looking Venom figure, which we've kind of sort of seen before. We'll go over that in just a few but you get a really interesting Super Bug Buster vehicle. And these are totally outside the box. But looking back now, they're totally interesting. This is a very fascinating toy incorporating really creepy elements to have something more fun for the kids, right? You got these little discs, I'll show you, that shoot out. Venom looks good on the Bug Buster vehicle. On the underside, you got all the different Toy Biz information, Toy Biz Hotline, this opens up, this Venom with the browns and the blacks, and then you got the blacks and the greens of the spider leg and the purple carapace body, and it just all works together to make this really interesting toy. These little discs shoot off, they have the Venom, sort of Venom, flip side Venom symbol on it, we'll just say that, and what you do is you kind of load them into there and you take two of your best figures, the ones that we'll be looking at very shortly, and you push this little lever and you put a hook your fingers into that tail, like the spine thing right there. So it does really work for a very handheld experience. Make sure you got all the discs in there. There's about five loaded up and then you just kind of shoot them off and you can take down all your figures and that's as simple as it needed to be it's great yes venom would do with his space age super bug buster thing he kind of just pops right off this thing that'll keep him in there he is on his knees which is weird that they don't it's more of a vehicle but this venom is cool he's blacks and browns he's got a red tongue to him minimal articulation arms legs knees the head kind of sort of rotates this bug buster though is really the main show because you can kind of put any type of figure into it so it's different like i said all the i just love how the toy biz customer service number is on the bottom they never really used to do that all that much but the cool part is the wheels on the bottom move the legs and they scurry back and forth in a very organic way which is kind of creepy as well and you can run over the figures knock them over it's a very cool very fun display and i love just being able to shoot this at the camera and boom 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 <laughs> 
you gotta get this. This is really interesting. One of those rare kind of toy biz pieces boxed up. Yeah, it's gonna go for a pretty penny, but I lucked out and found a friend who actually knew where to find these. So I'm very happy to have it. Very happy to show off these super bug busters. Definitely grab one if you can. Much like this Spider-Man spider Rider, and again, this is a Spider-Man figure we've seen before, just a little bit differently painted, but his articulation is goofy. It's wackadoo, it's bonkers. He's got sort of ball joints, nothing at the waist, kind of knees, and he's got ankle rise. It's, it's a very odd Spider-Man. The head will go, but he's got really nice paint to him. That's the nice thing about him. It's painted beautifully, a little... little paint on the spider webs on the face would have been nice and much like venom's vehicle this spider-man spider rider is no different it's got the reds the blues the blacks the spider-man symbol building an organic space bug because why not he's even got the toy biz customer service on the bottom just like venom and they do operate the same as well you just kind of you know hook this piece right there you put your fingers and this will open and close this now i don't have the missiles that go in this if you do email me I want to talk to you but you get the idea you put the missiles in it shoots this rocks back and forth the wheels will turn the legs and it's very much the same thing as the venom one just spider-man stylized you just kind of hook his knees down just like that push the little clip right there and bingo bango you got yourself a spider-man spider rider and again like the venom one a gorgeous display piece it's different it's towards the tail end of quote-unquote spider-man the animated series much as my last retro shoes videos have been the very end of the line going more into the comic book stuff more out there stuff but it's great to see that creativity in these toys a lot of it which you don't really see nowadays i mean look at this thing it's <laughs> spider-man riding a space bug that shoots missiles and the legs move and the head splits apart and that's just the fun of these figures for me for back in the day and yeah you get all mad at venom venom loses his spider rider and it just kind of knock into him that's uh, really the easiest thing to do i love the lay i love the legs on these things it's so cool as i said it's not the first time we've seen these particular Spider-Man figures. This one showed up in a earlier wave as well with all the spider armor on them. Just differently painted, same articulation, same look, same back. It is cool to see these just kind of differently painted. Nice to have the same kind of figure, to be quite honest with you. One thing I'll point out, though, you'll see that the Spider-Man on the box is different. And it's because, you know, running changes. Maybe they took the photos and decided, oh, you know what? Let's change it up. Now, I don't think that Spider-Man exists. If it does, please let me know. I've never found one. But it is the same type from the Vampire Wars. And then later on, they did it for the, the Water Wars and the Hydro Wars and things like that. So, yeah, it, it's a shame. But if you know about that Spider-Man, please let me know. Same thing with the Venom. You'll notice the Venom in the photo, same body as you could say but he does have a green tongue now this particular venom while it doesn't there's a billion of these to be quite honest with you i have a couple here and there and this one kind of uses the venom 2 body with this head like the more marvel versus capcom gray blue which is really nice there was the sea serpent venom and then the Venom with the green tongue and the regular body. And then this blue Venom with the gold teeth and the green, you know what I mean? Like, they just kind of reuse this in all different types of colors, shapes, and sizes. But I digress. These are very fun to have. And again, I'm so happy to have them now and to have it be part of my look back Spider-Man the Animated Series retrospective. Pair them up with all the other Bug Busters, Bug Busters, Super Bug Busters, just Marvel characters riding bugs. And as I said, a simpler time when no one really thought about it nor complained. Ah, imagine those days. But I'm curious to know, did you guys have these? Do you need to get them now? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Spider-Man, the animated series, Super Bug Busters. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember... Just don't think about the the whole comes from outer space thing. I, I did that for a while with the original Bugbusters video. It just doesn't make any sense. Don't worry about it. And when you do, 
Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>